the unmet medical need in the industry, why venture capital exists, is not to create more companies. That is not the unmet need. The unmet need is there are diseases that are not addressed. That is why venture capital money has got value because we can help find those drugs. Creating companies doesn't help in that endeavor, ironically, okay? So I had this conversation with pharma. They loved the positioning and angle of the story. And you know, in 2010, 11, I was four, five years, six years into the asset centricity. And I was starting to have the first proof of concept that actually indeed the R&D numbers were still, you know, were becoming really impressive in terms of asset centricity R&D outputs. And that is when I was able to convince the first organizations, GSK, J&J, 2011, to co-invest in the funds for what purpose? Not for the purpose of the funds. Of course, it was good to have their cash, but for the purpose of, I accepted their cash in exchange of their commitment to putting their top R&D people on my scientific advisory board and being obliged to be every three months spending a couple of days. So that was a step for me to, to lock in a bridge on these pharma companies, but not on their checkbooks, on their mind, uh, you know, behind, right? On the on the on the on, on really on the mindsets, and that is really what helped me understand better. And the contribution that they were doing was commercial relevance. Oh, Francesco, yeah, this mode of action that you want to develop in this company, yeah, it's, you know, it makes total scientific sense. We were working on this. In the end, we did not find a commercial application that was worth it. So that kind of and. There are several companies that have lost steam in our you know, practices exactly because the commercial feedback that we were getting from those farmers that were around the same table as us. So they were invested in those companies. So they were, they were really interested in optimizing the, the return on investment. They were saying, Francesco, you do what you want because we owned the decision making. But they were helping us in understanding relevance from people that are interested in, in making sure that you are right not from people that can be politely telling you on a phone, oh yeah, no, it makes sense, you're right. Absolutely, it's a good insight, thank you very much. And, and then I'm not really vested in giving you a more full feedback. So that is really what has helped us <clears throat> and what it turned out to be really a key component of asset centricity, proximity with pharma, you know, it's a key part of the equation.